Hello, I'm Ibex Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today we're going back to TU11 for Minecraft Xbox 360, because the game is over four and a half years old now, and it's added more than 40 updates worth of content, mostly just improving the game and taking it from what used to be TU1, you know, this massively unrecognizable game, to what we have today. Something that I, I think most people can agree is just objectively better. However, every now and then they have to remove something to add something new, and sometimes I get nostalgic about these old features, and maybe you do too. So what I figured I'd do today is go back to TU11, uh, you know, an update from about a year into the game, and show you exactly what it looked like, and play through the tutorial so we can see some of the old stuff and also show, uh, telling you and showing you how to do exactly the same too. Hopefully you do all enjoy this video. If you do all enjoy the going back to T11, like me and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like seeing older Minecraft updates because I know a lot of you did play back when this was new or did play, you know, at some point after this came out and it's like, oh yeah, these are things that you used to be able to experience that you just can't anymore and obviously there's really good reasons for that because they have just massively improved them but still, just because something's improved, it doesn't mean the old version isn't worth checking out sometimes and that's what we're doing today with the T11 tutorial. So first of all, Let's explain how you can get back to this because I've shown how to get back to TU1 before. You basically just delete your title update file and uh, that's basically the same process here. Delete your title update or move it to a different device and unplug it, which is what I've done. I've just unplugged my hard drive. Uh, either, you know, remove your title update, but also you want to remove your skin pack files because they can cause crashes. I had so many crashes when I had all my uh, uh, texture packs, DLC, etc. So remove your DLC, remove all of that and uh, just leave yourself with the disc version of Minecraft. That's right. If you want to go back to the first update you played, you just delete your title update. If you want to go back to TU11, you need to get a disc version version of Minecraft, because the disc version of Minecraft didn't release till a year after, you know, the main version of Minecraft, which means that if, uh, you know, you did want to go back and uh, play this version, all you need to do is find a disc version, because it launched with T11, because then you don't update it, and boom, you've got T11 forever, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So, yeah, what changed from TU1 to T11, just as a quick little heads up, uh, so many different things, so many, you know, key parts of Minecraft that we know and love have been added since then, uh, a bunch of the blocks you might know, uh, there's a bunch of the, uh, you know, stuff like that that you might know, however, there's, uh, you know, at the end of Dragon Fight, uh, Sprinting, look, we can sprint now, uh, but there's also a lot of changes which haven't been implemented that you might expect from modern day Minecraft. So for instance, uh, just as a small couple of things right here, uh, as you can see, we've got the steak in our inventory, which has the old steak texture, so, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more cooked, I guess Notch maybe changed his opinions on whether we like cooked steaks or whatnot, because this is the old texture for steak, where again, it's got more of a black outline, you can see it a bit more there, and uh, also the fact that if we throw the steak on the ground, you might be able to see that it doesn't spin around, that's right, none of the items span, it was actually one of the big uh, kind of upgrades they made to the game, you know, to make it run a bit better, where they made 3D items a thing and all items were spin. At this point, you can just drop an item in the ground and it exists there and it'd follow you around, which is really creepy when you think about it because it's a 2D item, but the 2D item always faces you. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 kind of how these things existed. So yeah, uh, that's that's how items existed and it was a little bit bizarre. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about this tutorial world we're in right now rather than just tiny things. We can get back to those later because there's so many that I can get nostalgic about. But let's talk about this world and let's talk about why this doesn't exist anymore. Why can't you explore the old miner's shelter and this little enclosed area at first, uh, at least not to my understanding. Uh, the basic reason for that is that they've changed the tutorial world so much, and every now and then they just decide to wipe it from, you know, and start building from scratch, and generally speaking, you get a better tutorial world for this, but, you know, again, every now and then you get uh, nostalgic about this one, and that's what I figured we'd check out today. So yeah, let's take some boats, we'll need those later, and let's go past the Minecraft sign, and let's show you what the old world looked like, because obviously from here you can't really see too much, I mean, we see some trees and some wood and some stone. Not very exciting stuff. Although, actually, you can see some redstone there. Because, again, uh, every single update, they added something new. So they added redstone for an update. Uh, you know, then they added breeding for one. Because, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's just so many things that have been added in this last year of Minecraft. From TU1 to TU11. The Ender Dragon fight, they have to explain. The never, uh, you know, the actual, never actual having stuff in there. It's very, very interesting things. But, yeah, this is also the first true world, if I'm not mistaken. It was probably in that chest back there, actually. Uh, to feature the music disc cunt. So, as you can see, in here, there is a music disc. And it's going to say you found one of the 12, because that's something you can do now. Which, again, I, I really love that. This is the start of, like, a really kind of long tradition, where when they introduce a piece of content, they also give you a challenge to go along with it. So, you know, if you want to just, uh, you know, experience it how it is, you can do that. If you want to go along and you want to be like, yeah, let's see what's going on here, then uh, you can try and hunt for it all. So, oh, that's nice. Although there's still just stone somewhere around, so... Maybe that's not so nice. But yeah, we're, we're going to be very briefly hunting for the discs. This was a, you know, long time before they realized it was a challenge. I guess it wasn't even a challenge back then. It was just like, oh, find the 12 discs and stuff. And uh, again, it was an interesting little experience because most of them are in pretty easy places. So here's where we can go if we can learn about enchantments. Uh, here's where we go to learn about brewing. Again, very new concepts at this time. I think they were just added with TU9. So, you know, like a month ago before. These, there were really big things. Like even enchantments, like I've got a flame one bow here. Even enchantments are kind of a big deal. Is there something behind there? Ah, there is something behind that. But <laughs> even enchantments being added was kind of a big deal. Because it is one of those sorts of things. Ah, wait, I bet that lever then moves... Oh, it does move something back here. Uh, to a never portal. 
Ah, there's a seat. There's a secret never portal. Isn't that wonderful? But um, yeah, there's there's all these changes that have been made. Um, and that were really, really fresh. Things that are fundamentally part of Minecraft were added over this first year, which is why, you know, from TE1 to here, you can already see a massive difference, and you can see the Minecraft we know today starting to form, you know. <laughs> we, we've got the Never. I don't think there's any real point for the Never. Like, we might have Never Fortresses, but even... I guess we must have Never Fortresses if we've got the End. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's it, even the Never, like, looks like it's got a different design, because, they've, they've you know, they've entirely reformed that since then. They've added new blocks. Like, this is really boring. It's just Never and, uh, you know, Glowstone, and that's about it as far as the eye can see. Uh, I don't think we're even guaranteed to have a, uh, you know, Nev at this point. It's just like, yep, let's go explore. Maybe find one of those. This is going to be problematic. <laughs> or maybe not. But yeah, let's get out there and uh, let's show you around the rest of the world because there's so many things, uh, again, that have just changed that I want to go check out. They figured, let's go show you. So, first of all, let's go to sleep because uh, it is nighttime. As you can see, we sleep like literally in the bed. Uh, I think more like you do on the PC. Uh, they've changed this animation so many times. Like, I have no idea why, but, like, it changes pretty much from every update to every update. Like, <laughs> you know, in, in TU40, uh, you know, 4, what we have right now, it's like, oh, yeah, now you, like, slowly rest your head down on it. And, uh, again, I'm not even entirely sure why that is, but it is a thing that's changed. As well as that, though, on the right of the sign here, because this is a castle we get to explore. Again, a, a TU11 exclusive castle. We've got some melons if we want to learn how to farm those. We've got some sheep if we want to learn how to farm those. And a wolf <laughs> would very much like to love that. Well, we've got pretty much all the mobs that exist in the game right now, which is surprisingly few, right? I mean, um, the number of mobs they added, like, slowly, update by update, really is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. Like, you know, witches one added, for instance. Uh, you know, like, uh, a lot of the things that are just, like, kind of commonplace today weren't in the game. Also, another thing that has changed since then. So, let's go around the castle, because that's more fun. A uh, thing that's changed since this time is they actually had to, uh, you know, they added a whole bunch of biomes, and they bas that basically meant that the biome system has changed entirely. So, this, uh, you know, this version we're seeing right here only has 12 total biomes. It might be 16. It's a very low number of, like, total biomes which means the biome sizes were much bigger like a biome would be more like the pc size which again is something a lot of people say oh it's so bad that it's not that way but you know again it's just one of those like i guess preference changes that's interesting to look at because oh look here we are with that oh and another thing they've done so in the same way that the first uh, you know t1 hinted with the villages in the first place this is like a hint at the desert temple it's like a you know kind of crude version of a desert temple almost hinting at it as you can see <laughs> and uh yeah and inside it i think you get a music disc i could be wrong uh, again, it's been it's been some time since I played the T11 tutorial. Oh, you get a sword. That's lovely. I'll take a sword. And we also get... Oh, it is a disc. Mool. So we got three of the 12 already. Again, I think most of these are in pretty obvious locations. I mean, we'll find out as we go through this thing, I guess. Uh, but it, it's just it's just making me, like, you know, so nostalgic for everything. Because like, I, I, I didn't really play this tutorial too much. Like, I wasn't too big into tutorials back then. But it is still like, oh, yeah, I recognize this part of the world and that part of the world. And then every now and then... Um, it's just going to be like the opposite, I imagine, because uh, there's, there's that, they, they made these worlds and they put like stuff all over the place, uh, such as this house over here. Like, I recognize this, I think, from a screenshot, maybe, but <laughs> that's about as far as I can recognize it. But yeah, it's just a standard little villager house they put in here just to exist. Is there food in the furnace? Oh, there's not. Uh, that's sad. That's very sad. Uh, but yeah, uh, so as you can see, this is... Uh, this is the Minecraft place and stuff. Oh, also a thing that's changed um, since the last update is they've made the menu options just a little bit closer and better to what we have today. So, you know, for instance, you can now turn off those hints. There's autosave, which is turned on by default. Uh, there's a lot of different things to make it a bit more like you think. But Bedrock Fog is something, again, it's another feature they removed that's actually in here. And hopefully we had a chance to actually show that off. Because, again, for, for a very uh, brief period on the Minecraft PC and for a little bit on the console, they decided a really good idea was to make it really foggy down at Bedrock Lair. And in reality, all this did was annoy people. So as soon as they added an option to remove it, everyone did. And it's just one of those features which existed for no particularly amazing reason. But yeah, it, it existed in this update. And hopefully I get to go show you it at some point. Because it is really bizarre to me, the fact that, yeah, just gets foggy for some reason down there. So, so I'm walking in a long direction. Not really finding anything. Again, biomes are massive. Like, look at the size of this swamp. Again, biomes just would be this size because they could afford to be that way. If you only had to fit 12 biomes in a world and you don't even need one, you don't even necessarily want all 12, then you can have each one be a big size. But when there's 60 biomes, then you have to obviously make sacrifices if you want to have good diversity. And uh, talking about good diversity, we have a village here. That's right, villages actually exist in this update. And not only did villages exist, you know, in the way you'd expect them, where you've got all your blocks and stuff, uh, villages themselves existed. However, there's like three or four key changes you'll notice from this to what we have today. First of all, this isn't a desert village. This is just a regular village in a desert because guess what? No desert villages yet. So 
it looks kind of weird and out of place to me, but also kind of interesting and good at the same uh, in the same way. So I guess that's nice. But also we have uh, NPC villagers. That's right, these fellows exist. They finally uh, you know added them to the game in TU9, and uh, yeah, now you got like a villager to trade. Except you don't trade with them, do you? Because uh, there was no trading introduced at this point. That didn't come until much much later. So for the longest time, there were villagers which existed in the game. You know they couldn't breed or anything. They just existed and stared at you if you walked into their village and maybe shook their head at you like this one's doing. But yeah, you couldn't do anything with them, you could kill them if you wanted to, and there'd be no consequence to it either, because guess what, you know, no one really cares about the villagers, there's no iron golems to protect them, it's just, oh, this is a villager, he exists, how's it going? And it, it, to me, this is just one of the weirdest things to look at. You know, again, there's no purpose to these villagers, besides the blacksmith chest, which was either added with this update, or the one after, where it's like, oh yeah, I guess now you can find loot here sometimes, except not in this one, no loot in this, uh, you know, Oh wait, is there actually? Let's let's make sure first. But no loot in this uh, village. Just a bunch of uh, you know weird NPCs that stare at you. And <laughs> it, it, it's so weird to me to imagine a game of Minecraft where again villages exist, but they they just stare and have no purpose. Like why did they need to exist when they had no purpose? I don't get it. I don't know why it was ever coded that way on the PC. But that's what they copied for the console. So yeah, moving on from uh, this particular biome right here. Uh, again, so all of these biomes you'll recognize from today, but they were the only biomes you had at the time. So there was desert, this one you'll see right here. There's extreme hills, like you'll see over there. Um, there's swamp, like we've already seen. And that's pretty much most of the diversity. I think there's them plains and, uh, you know, mushroom biome. And I think I've gone through all of them right there. I think that's literally all you can expect from a world. And it's, it's so weird, because today you can expect so many different things to be in your just one world. But back in, then it's like, no, yeah. Uh, Guess what? You you have this, you deal with it, and that's that's just your whole life. Which, again, very, very interesting, very, very intriguing to me. Ooh, big bit of love right there. Isn't that nice? So, uh, yeah, as well as um, the fact that uh, the game existed and had a lot of different changes, as you might expect, because, again, three and a half years worth of content will change a game. Fun fact. Uh, there's also a few interesting things to do with, like, again, with menus, such as changing your skin. This is now supported. If I want to be Boxer Steve, I can be him. And this is actually why you need to remove your skin pack files, because skin packs exist. And if you try to put new skin packs in there, I guess they change the format of something. It just crashes your game and makes it go very badly. So, yeah, make sure you don't have your new skin packs. Only be one of these old skins, such as Boxer Steve, which, again, used to be exclusive to whoever was playing in Player 8. Like, the skin selector just wasn't a thing. And uh, now... Uh, Box of Steve is something you can select yourself. So if you were always trying to get seven other people in your game before you joined it, just because you love Box of Steve, then you must have been thrilled with this update because you could actually do it by hand. Which I know sounds ridiculous, but again, it's something you had to deal with. So, oh, actually, these um these things right here, these uh, bits of plant, I remind me of something that really, really made me hate it. Uh, but, oh, I got a gamer pick. Uh, but there's something that really, really made me hate the thing because basically if we put out some of this dirt, if you try to replace the dirt, uh, sorry, replace the, uh, you know, the grass with a piece of dirt, it would just place it on top of it or on the side of it. You couldn't remove it, it would just do like that, which was infuriating at the time because it always happened. You'd be like, Why do I have to remove the dirt first? But oh, sorry, the grass first. But fortunately, again, that's something they have fixed since then. So let's run through this, um, this forest room right now uh, because I want to just test out these boats because there's a really cool fact about both boats and minecarts that I think, anyway, will blow your minds. Oh, we found something new again. Again, just new stuff that I never really even knew existed because the world's just covered in this apparently. So Oh, I bet this will be another music disc, because I guess they wanted a music disc hunt, so at the top here, is there going to be a chest? And there is, with a ward and a pickaxe, with unbreaking on it, because again, enchantments are somewhat new at this point. So, yeah, we need to find ourselves a body of water, hopefully. Okay, there's one just over there. I might starve on the way, but it's okay, I'm only playing on easy, I think? Maybe it's normal, I don't know the difficulty. <laughs> oh, new sounds, by the way, or old sounds, I should say. You know, let's just call them new, like, ooh, look at this fancy new update. But yeah, there are old sounds in this, which is pretty crazy. And also, I need to kill a cow, because if we get their leather, you notice the leather looks very slightly different. And uh, even crazier than that is if we get some leather armor. So let's mine this with a pickaxe, because why not? If we get some leather armor, uh, you'll see that there's so many textures which only subtly change. Like, you know, even something as simple as, like, gravel. This is the new one now. But, like, gravel just subtly changed at one point, And you don't really notice it until you're looking closely. But then slowly the game just starts to look more and more like a thing. Oh, wait. I think this might be one of the first examples of just a villager well. It's a co it's it's a mostly console exclusive, uh, you know, well that just kind of exists and does its own thing. And apparently they existed even as early as this tutorial. So I can place my water in, I can place my boat in that water. But I'm kind of hoping for something a bit bigger because again, boats are so mind-blowingly different. Not only in the way they control, which I guess is hard to convey to you uh, by the thing, but also just in the way um, you know they behave. Because okay, so 
First of all, uh, let's hop in our boat then, shall we? Let's hope it goes this way. First of all, the boat is entirely controlled with the, the left stick. You don't need this right one. I can go backwards if I want to. Guess what? It, it works that way. So I think it, it's a little bit harder to get you know used to it first. But once you do do it, then it's just significantly better, right? So that's kind of handy if you ask me. But the other cool thing about boats is the fact... Oh, no, the next one, I should say, is the fact that you can crouch in them because right stick wasn't get out. It was just crouch, apparently. So here's me crouching in a boat over and over again. Again, no real purpose for it, but it's kind of cool. You could break it while you were in it, apparently, which is a nice little thing. Uh, but the craziest thing about them, the one that I'm like, oh, this is going to blow your minds, is the fact that boats would not break in this update. There was no breaking of boats. That's something they decided to add, and that's kind of infuriating. Because look at this. Okay, so we're riding our boat, and let's get some real speed. Like, let's go to the top speed a boat will let us go, which actually probably isn't too fast in this update, because you have to be looking exactly forward to get your speed going, and then it kind of lags every now and then. I don't get it, but let's let's then crash into this thing right here. As you can see, no breakage. Boats, boats just did not break because, again, that was a feature they added. I don't know why that's considered a feature and not like just a removal of things. But this is one of those those tiny parts of the game that just makes you go, ah, oh, wasn't it nicer when things were different? When you could just ride a boat, not worry about crashing because if you go into land, that's just considered landing. Look, look, look at this. Gonna land on the shore, no issue whatsoever. It's beautiful, and it's just one of these small things that makes me go, you know. Maybe T11 is better. Maybe maybe we never go back to the present. Maybe, maybe from now on I just make T11 videos. I don't know. That's that's just something that makes me go, ah, oh, so much better. However, the way, you know, as you can see, the way this boat is actually moving, where it, like, stops for a little bit every now and then, that's something that's a lot less desirable. But you know what? Maybe it's worth it. I, I don't actually think so. But yeah, I hope you did all enjoy um, this video because I think that brings me to just about the last uh, thing in T11. I guess before I go, I should show you one more thing. By the way, we're starving stuff, so let's let's exit and save. So this will be on my uh, you know memory card forever. But then let's also just show you uh, around the menus because you might not have spotted it earlier, but the menus have entirely changed, and even the logo up there. That's right, Minecraft Xbox 360 entirely different. It's got like a block of stone behind it to kind of match the Minecraft. Uh, later on there, because they wanted to go for a more unified Minecraft design, it just says it in little letters. But as you can see, it's like a giant block. It's on right there, which again, just a, a tiny interesting little uh, you know side note. You might not have spotted it. So uh, yeah, let's move on from this to. Oh, <laughs> you really don't appreciate how long it used to take to save. Uh, sorry, how long it takes to save until you realize how long it used to take to save, which is uh, apparently an eternity. You know, how, how about we go, you know, make ourselves a drink, come back, and then deal with the rest of this. But yeah, uh, let's... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, so much time is being wasted. Like... Do we, do we deal with this forever? Okay, now we're finally exiting the game, guys. But yeah, uh, a couple of things that you might not have spotted is the fact that the menu, just entirely different. Uh, the background, different, because they change that every update. But also, you can see how the, the, the game plus join game thing is different. And you can also see, if you press LB, uh, games that you're party in, which I, I just think is kind of interesting, personally. So yeah, with that said, um, here is your old Minecraft 360 stuff. As you can see, things have changed a little bit. Some things are here, some things aren't. I think it's amazing to look at. Let me know if you want to see another video where we go back to 11 and let me know let me know what you'd like to see me test because I know buying a disc version of the game isn't necessarily something everyone wants to do. I'll leave a link in the description, hopefully, just in case you do. But yeah, I know buying a disc version of the game isn't something everyone wants to do. But in case it is, then uh, you know, let me know um, what you want me to. Or if you don't want to do it, sorry, let me know what you want to see next time. Like, should we check out the creative menu? Should we check out all the old biomes and see the mushroom biome stuff? Let me know. And besides that, I hope you all enjoy the video because I'll see you all in the next one. So goodbye, everyone.